Australia generally. Clearly one of Australia's finest sportswomen across any sport. Yeah, she's won government awards, the who's who of Australian women, the leader sports award, Australian government sports achievement award, best Australian female fighter, the professional boxing combat sports award. Susie Q is the ultimate. From Preston, Victoria. World champ Barry Michael, Steve Steenborg, and Julie Ramadan in the corner. Let's rock with Susie Q. Ramadan! Oh. Very experienced referee. Take a First round. Get the edge for this fight. Bruce Susie's been sparring Sasha Peters from Brian Butler's gym in Lily Dale East End Boxing. Barry Michael's managing Susie, and um, so she's got the knowledge, she's got the understanding of how to fight a southpaw. As we discussed earlier this evening, they can be awkward, they can be challenging, but Susie's prepared for this. She's been sparring gentlemen a little bit taller, around the same weight, excellent amateur prospect. Remembering the challenger has to comprehensively take the title away from the champion, and that was a nice body shot. And then upstairs, still feeling each other out, getting used to both ladies extremely fit, as you'd expect nothing else at this level of the sport. Yeah, that we saw in the opening fight of the night with the Thai fighter Yod Pichai Sith Sethong who could get no traction with his boxing boots, slipped all around the ring in the first round as if it was an ice skating rink, had them taped up and then eventually took them off and fought barefoot. And the reigning world champion has had the same issue in the first round in the main event. Amazing scenes here, Justin Nolan at the Pavilion in Flemington. Absolutely, Bruce. This is... Uh, it's not often you see the same sequence of events like this twice on a card. Extraordinary. You would have thought the Ties would have done their homework a little better, but now we've got the WBC Women's Bantamweight World Champion fighting barefoot at the start of the second round, and unfortunately then Susie slipped in the uh, in the blue corner, and Susie's asking for uh, the corner of the tie to be uh, wiped. Susie's got to keep her cool here. Don't be distracted by the uh, shenanigans with the shoes and the boots and the... Uh, Second jumping in the ring during the break. But to, the tie looking a lot more business-like than she did in the first round. Got a real menacing pose at the moment, but starting to let her hands go as well. And Susie's retreating and covering up, and most of those punches were taken on the gloves. But the tie continues to attack. Susie gave her a clipping little left back, but the tie certainly had the better of that exchange. Susie's doing very well here. Susie on the attack now. That final punch in that combination, just glancing off the chin of Usana Corn. Very cagey, Usana Corn. Not using up a lot of energy. Oh, good nice. work, Susie. Left to the jaw of the tie. And again. That last hook. Oh, good yeah, boy, Susie. Usana Corn does seem to possess real power when she lets those hands go. And that uh, left. At the end of that exchange, rock back the head of Susie Ramadan, who's retreating again. She's fighting gamely. Usana Corn trying to impose herself on this contest in the second round. This on Channel 183, Fight Sports. Staying with her game plan, staying composed. That she is, Bruce. She's moving around. She's making herself a moving target. As soon as she stays still, it gives you Usana Corn the opportunity to set. There you see Susie getting the punches as she's moving around. When she's within range. Another beautiful left hook. That's it. Fourth round of a Schedule 10, the Women's WBC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Australia. Justin Nolan and Bruce Avery commentary. Justin, this is a thriller minute. Absolutely, Bruce. Very challenging fight for Susie. His centre corn's awkward. The south force stance. She's holding. 
She's using some tricks. But Susie's there. She's doing the right stuff. She's keeping on moving. She's keeping... Only the one loss on each record. And a disputed decision in Mexico. As Susie Ramadan has almost her best moment of the fight straight down the barrel. Yeah, absolutely. And her work rate is superior. Although Yusana Korn lets her hands go now. She wore a left hand. But then Yusana Korn finished. Korn choking a gym in the red. The defending champion against Susie Q. Ramadan. And it's been fought at a hectic pace. Ramadan with a big left hook to start the red. Extremely fit. And the fact that she's always moving makes her such a hard person to hit. Oh! Teed off there with a straight left. Beautiful right hand. Drop that right knee. And just swivel the hip, bang, right on the chin of your centre corner. Go on. But, but I don't think the, these punches are hurting Susie Bruce. No, she's taking them very oh, well. You can almost feel the frustration starting to grow in your centre corner. Her punch is just now a little wilder. She's, uh, she calls Susie on. And I don't think that's showboating boy. Your centre corner's going to worry Susie Bruce. Beautiful right hand left. That's the, that's the money. The full house at the pavilion in Flemington. Barefoot since the end of the first round. And she's coming on strong now, but Ramadan continues to duck and weave and take most of those blows on his shoulders and arms. She is the first female Australian boxer to have two world titles of two sanctioning bodies. Well, Susie Sert. Oh, great oh, right hand by Susie. Man. And Susie's certainly not marked around the face. Yes, and of course she's cagey, she's just allowing Susie to come in there. Once she's in her zone, she's trying to bomb off. Cleaner punches again from Ramadan. Two separate lefts there, clear scoring punches. The Yusana Korn claims that she's been caught low. Marches back to her corner. Frank Adley doesn't want to know about it, he says fight on. Yusana Korn, Cody and Jim, fighting barefoot. And she's got her hands full with the uh, talented and gutsy Australian Susie Ramadan. Challenging, I think, the way the time moves in. The centre corn on Susie gets stuck under the arm. Susie just outpunched her again. Of course, this coverage brought to you by the redwineshop.com and Pain Away. Well, it was a beautiful body shot, right hook by you, centre corn there. Yeah, it was a great right hand. Well, she took it well, Susie. She took it very well. I don't think it hurt. Oh, oh beautiful. Punch of the fight. A left punch of the night, I think, Bruce. That really got the Thai's attention. The world. Here in Melbourne town, the pavilion. Yusana Korn Koki Jim is a national hero back in Thailand. Susie Ramadan, who's highly respected here in Australia, possibly about to become a national hero here in Australia. She is boxing the fight of her life. She's doing it very well, Susie. Oh, a switch there, that was interesting. Tried it anyway, it was a good try. Covers up and Yusana Korn goes to work. Susie needs to fight back, and she does, and then it gets a bit ugly. And they both crash to the canvas, with Susie basically taking all of you Santa Corn's weight as well. It's had a bit of everything. But Susie's not... not Santa Corn with 11 knockouts comes with a, with, with a fairly credentialed um, knockout record there. That wouldn't you say, Bruce? No, Susie's now. not afraid at all. Oh, but I must have been card. Maybe four minutes away from another... Australian world champion. Oh, Susie Kenny punching brilliantly there. Overwhelming. Oh, well. Susie Ramadan in front. Oh, six points. Twice and two points. Well, confirming that now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was announced that uh, with a round and a half to go, Yusana Korn needs a knockout if she's to retain her title. And she's tagged again. The Australian, absolutely in brilliant form. At 33 years of age, she is in superb condition and backing it up with superb skills. Beats it to the punch again. This is turning into a textbook lesson from Susie Ramadan to her Thai opponent. And she's making the champion look second rate. With the final 10 seconds of round nine and the urgency from his, oh, your Santa Claus tag with two giant punches as well. Her head rocks back and it will be a disconcert. Bantamweight championship of the world. We're 120 seconds away, Bruce, from seeing the first Triple world champion in Australian female boxing, and this is an awesome spectacle. And uh, all credit to Susie Q. She has done an absolutely amazing job with the credentials of New Santa Corn. She's awesome. Jeff Fennick won the WBC Bantamweight title, the men's version, a quarter of a century ago. Susie Ramadan, she's going to win the women's version in about two minutes' time. Last 
two, and the title's yours. Beautiful hook by Susie. Has just constantly bounced it off the right side of the face of his center corn, who is watching her title slip away. They wrestle each other, or more a wrestle from the tie. And will she have a point taken off here? Frank Hadley thought long about it. Certainly reprimanded the tie fighter. Far behind. Yeah, no, she's um, tried every tactic in the book, Bruce. The shoes, the water on the ring, the pushing, the shoving, the pushing over onto the ring. But Susie, this isn't a concern for a world champion of this calibre. She is the ultimate. She is the best female boxer Australia's ever, ever produced. Hard to argue with that. Again, brilliant evasive skills, followed up with textbook offence from Susie Ramadan. Full kit of punches. And she's on the verge of winning the WBC title. The most esteemed, sanctioning body in the sport. Yeah, she's not afraid to exchange punches with the largest knockout record in female world boxing history that your center corn has. Susie's, obviously, as I said, she's not afraid. This hasn't, this hasn't bothered her one bit. Well, she's known as Susie Q. I reckon tonight it's got to go to Susie A, because this has been A class in every facet of the sweet sign. In, in the closing seconds, your center corn must know that her title's about. It's nearly hers, Bruce. Absolutely, unbelievably sensational performance. And a punch on after the final bell as well, which Susie Ramadan didn't appreciate. And you said it on, probably had a fun to the brand new WBC title. And you said it on, Susie Ramadan is the new WBC women's band of weight world champion. Justin Nolan, that is one of the finest performances we've seen from an Australian sportswoman across oh. any sport for quite some time. World class.